Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the interview with Mr. Tunney, Jim Tunney himself. Welcome, Jim. Yes, hello, Wayne. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me on my own show. This is great. This this is definitely great. I'm sorry that uh, we actually had a problem with Scotty. He hasn't shown up yet. Of course we have. Oh, I can't do anything about it. At least I'm here, and at least we're getting down the business, correct? Of course, because what we do here in Future of Wrestling is it's all about the business, and it's all about giving our fans the premier wrestling show in the entire world. That is absolutely true, especially now that we had that new FOW heavyweight champion in Kenny Omega. Ah, uh, yes, yes, we do. It's good to have it's good to have a true champion on top in this company. So I'm happy about that. For once, I can actually put on a show, and you know, not like I'm not proud of every single one, but I'm glad that the true talent stepped up and became champion finally as a true face of this company. That is absolutely on point, Mr. Tunney, because of the fact that he did defeat Finn Balor one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano, and then he beat him at the Golden Rumble pay-per-view inside a ladder match. Definitely proving his worth, not a one-and-done champion, showing that he will be not only the future of this company, but, dare I say, the future of all wrestling as we know it. Yes. Yes, but the question that that still remains for the future is, what is the next pay-per-view for FOW? Ah, uh, yes. I am happy to come here and announce that the next pay-per-view will be Springfest. Springfest. Uh-huh. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Huh, it does roll off the tongue. Wow. So, as you would expect... We, of course, are going to have FOW champion Kenny Omega in the house, defending his title against someone to be determined. But we're throwing everything at this show. We're going to have international champion Nick Aldis will be here. And once again, we're just going to wait for someone to step up and try to take him on. And, of course, in our Cruiserweight Championship, we're going to have Taiji Ishimori versus Pac. This wow. is a star-studded show. It is must-watch, and really, if you're not even putting your pre-order on now, what are you even doing with your life? Yes, yeah, Spring Fest, the next pay-per-view for Future Wrestling. I'm absolutely excited about this, because spring is coming, and everyone's ready for it. And for spring, is there any type of, like, gimmick matches that we could see, or is it just, you never know? Yeah, you never know about that. I always have things cooking up in the back of my genius brain. One thing I do know is none of the matches will have anyone from the Undisputed Era in it because I listen to the fans and I know that they are sick of seeing these wasted spots show after show, week after week. I'm giving the people what they want. None of these bums will be allowed in my arena at my show for spring fest that is my gift to you that is me springing forward into the future of wrestling so that means the undisputed era is banned from the arena once again not just banned from ringside banned from the entire arena i don't even know why i keep them on the roster except i need to fill some spots every once in a while so they are lucky to even have jobs at this point but knowing the fact that Adam Cole did just jump into the Golden Rumble match unannounced when Pete Dunne went injured, as sure there any did. discipline that's uh, going to happen? Look, there's no discipline just yet. I'm think. Look, I believe in one religion, and that religion is called karma. And Adam Cole showing up to my show unannounced, taking up a spot that could easily go to someone else. I think someone in the back's probably going to be a little, we could say a little peeved that their spot in the Golden Rumble would have been taken in such a callous move, such a selfish move even, by one Adam Cole. So I'm sure that someone will take care of that for me. Okay, so the announcements are from Jim Tunney so far is Springfest 
And the Undisputed Era is not just banned from ringside, but the arena totally. Excuse me. Oh, good. He's here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I have something in my hands. Jim Tunney, uh-huh. would, would, would you like to read this? No, 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 no. See, I don't sell my hands with the commoner work, so you can do that for me. It's what I pay you for. Okay, okay, because you, you're going to love what I have to say here. So, everybody knows what's going on with Spring Bash, correct, correct, correct? I mean, if you call it the right name, because it is Spring Fest. Oh, Spring Fest. My apologies. But, um, fuck that. We're not doing that. Um, remember that one, remember that one match we had a few months ago with Drew and Chris and my contract was on the line and the, and then you put up something yourself. You, you remember that, correct? Uh, vaguely. I remember Drew being sick. He might've been patient zero for Corona. He was wrestling sick and Chris Stewart did a bunch of cheap shot kind of moves. It's oh, still uh, disputed if that was even, you know, a real ending to that match. But yes, oh, I do remember. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, since some other dumb, there was like some stipulation that no one cared about. Yeah, uh, that that stipulation was I was able to control a pay per view. So, um, fuck your pay per view. We're doing mine, and um, what? We're yeah. I'm Wait, I'm cashing so you... in. I'm I'm cashing in my contract for. Me running my own pay-per-view. This is the biggest show of the first quarter of the year. And you are, you're going to, what, you're going to try and ruin this company? You're going to try and bankrupt it and put all of our amazing talent out of jobs? Because there's no way anything you put on is going to be worth watching. I'd be shocked if anyone even paid for it. All of our pre orders are going to get canceled now. What is your brilliant idea? I'd love to hear it. Um, a live pay-per-view, three hours long. No parts, no nothing. A full straight pay per view with Adam Cole Ugh. versus Kenny Omega as your main event. Nobody else at ringside, and I already have the full lineup and pay per view ready to go. Wow, that's uh, that's a genius idea right there. If you want, you know, no one to pay for it, I'm not even probably going to sit through it because that sounds incredibly boring to me. Watching oh. little, you know, 30-pound Adam Cole try and take on a true champion in Kenny Omega. Well. Is, is this is this like an episode? Is this like an online-only kind of waste of time show? Is this one of these things? You put the D-list guys on there? No, 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 no. This is going to be This is going to be the best show you'll ever see in your life. And I'm pretty sure I'll be making more money off of this than you ever will. Because, you know, we got an actual stadium instead of an arena and i'm about <laughs> okay where ab- about about nine tenths of the way sold out already right bingo halls don't count so you know where where is this uh joke of a show at yeah we're waiting is- where waiting is hammers oh I think I, I think did we lose him? No, we did not. I think I think what's going on here, Jim, is that he is li- literally go- going through the contract right now, and he's going to tell us the the actual location. I think he's did he already just hang told up me. on me. I think he just did. Yes, he did. Wow. He's not Our letting little... you know any more information. Our little Scotty thinks he's growing up. That is cute. Fine. Wonderful. He can have his one and done little show. And when it's a colossal failure and budget cuts need to be made because I have to save this sinking ship, ah, we might be we might be down an overpaid announcer, but you know, we'll just have to see. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. Well, at least I am still uh being good and doing my job. I wouldn't go so far with the being good part, but you are doing your job, so I'll give you that. Well, you guys heard it. Jim Tunney's overruled by a contract that was made a couple months ago because of Chris Stewart's victory. But what is next for Chris Stewart, Jim? One last thing. That's all you have to answer, and we'll get off this one. 
<sighs> I'm working on it. Let's just say I'm working on it. And in a future edition of FOW, Chris Stewart will be just as surprised as everyone else. Exactly. Maybe even a twist. All right, guys. Thank you, Jim. Once again, I know you're not happy, but... Uh, you're quite you're quite welcome. Thank you. Thank you for sandbagging me like this. That was I just, did not know that anything. Is what, I told you I did not... He, he didn't show up. I didn't know. Your paycheck says I was sandbag. Of course. All right. Whatever. Have a good night, everybody, from Future Wrestling's interview with Jim Tunney. We'll see you, episode 51. Good night, everybody.